Under the syllabus, it says manufacturing of non-ferrous metals, specifically alloying, solid solution hardening and annealing. Alloying and solid solution hardening are really the same thing, except that alloying is physically the process of getting a molten pot, let's say of aluminium, and adding alloys which come in lumps, kind of like big ice cubes about that square or that cube. You just add them in. That is the process of alloying, while of course you're bubbling it around and mixing it around. I was going to put a mixing blade in there, but that doesn't work. Normally it's inert gas bubbled in the, in the ladle to mix things up. So that's what alloying means. Alloying means adding an extra element. It might be in brass, you've got copper, and then you add zinc. Zinc is the alloy. It might be in aluminium. They add silicon, we'll talk about it next up. Um, it might be, what's another common metal that's not steel? Aluminium, brass, it might be copper. If you add tin, you make bronze. So we are making the range of options. That's alloying. Solid solution hardening, I have covered in the other video. Solid solution hardening means that if the atoms are the same size, they can slide past each other easily. If, however, I make an atom that little bit smaller, because there's that little bit of extra void there, and I've drawn that about to scale, it's not a lot. If it's a lot easy, if that atom would prefer to stay there because there's more of a gap and it's more comfortable and it can relax a bit more, it does, then it needs to be pushed and forced through. Um, so that's solid solution hardening. So sub, um, substitutional hardening basically means you put an atom of a different size in the matrix, which then are, interferes with smooth passage of the atoms. It either makes it smaller, as I said there, where there's a little bit of a void, and the atoms tend to relax into it and go, oh, there's a lot more space here, I'd rather be here than move. Or if I make it bigger, it's pushing out against each atom. Then of course to slide that across you've got the physical force needed to push the larger atom across each other. So they are your forms of, or that's what solid solution hardening is.